Hello all. Welcome back to week three, Data Warehouse and BigQuery. In today's lecture, we are going to talk about BigQuery best practices. Generally, most of our efforts are focused upon either cost reduction or improving query performance. These are some of the best practices used for cost reduction. It's generally preferred to always avoid select star. When you want to select uh, from a particular table, you should generally specify the name of the columns. The reason being is that BigQuery is, uh, stores data in a column of storage. And if you want to access data for one or two or three columns, it's always better to specify those column names rather than doing a star. Star will result in reading all the columns, which will cause to read all, uh, all the data. When you specify particular columns, only those column data is being read. You should always price your query before running them. The price can be seen on the right hand side top corner. Obviously, we have discussed in detail about clustering and partitioning, and they help a lot when in terms of cost reduction. If you are doing streaming inserts, use them with caution. They can actually increase your cost drastically. You should always materialize queries uh, into different stages. So in case you are using a CDE and you want uh, and you're using it in multiple stages, it might make sense to materialize those queries before uh, using them in multiple, multiple locations. BigQuery also caches uh, query results. These are some of the big query best practices for query performance improvement. You should always filter on the partitioned column or clustered column. You should try to denormalize your data. Uh, in case you have a complicated structure, you should use nested or repeated columns. Uh, that would help you in denormalizing your data. Usage of external data source uh, should be appropriately used. Uh, you should not do it uh, too much uh, because while reading from a Google Cloud storage, for example, it might incur more cost. Reduce data before using a join. Uh, do not treat a with clause as a prepared statement uh, and obviously uh, avoid oversharding the tables. Some of the other uh, big query, query performance is uh, to avoid using JavaScript in user-defined functions, uh, used uh, approximation uh, aggregation functions uh, rather than the complete one, such as hyperlog, log plus. Uh, order statements should be uh, the last part of your query uh, to maximize performance. Uh, you should optimize your join pattern. Uh, as a best practice, uh, you should place the largest table uh, as the first uh, as, as the first table, followed by uh, tables with the fewest rows, and then place the remaining tables by decreasing size. The reason for this is that if you place the largest table in, in uh, as the first one, uh, it will get distributed evenly, wherever the second column or the second table uh, would be uh, actually broadcasted to all the nodes. Uh, we will see in detail how BigQuery internally handles uh, query, and that might make it more clear to you.